is 4 21 in the afternoon today was a very special special exciting day if you watch the live you're probably like oh i seen her today already so today i actually went live i had my first live with a major brand winky lux which if you don't know about winky lux they are sold at target by the way side note i'm on my way to starbucks okay your girl is hangry the live was amazing you guys so you can find winky lux products at target super affordable and their products are amazing i really love their peeper perfect concealer i'm wearing it today as well as their cheeky rose blushes the packaging is super super beautiful it's just it's something that you would want to display in your beauty room to be honest with you so i went live today it was absolutely amazing they are such an amazing brand i love when you not only get to love a brand but you get to meet the people behind the scenes which Let's talk about content creating for a second. Sorry, I'm kind of like going on a tangent, a lot of different subjects, try to keep up. So, when it comes to content creating, it's really, really important, and this is why I say, there's. it's not like I'm putting up a facade. I'm not putting up a facade. I'm just like this, as you guys are seeing in my vlogs in real life. I am kind, I you know, present myself in a certain way, I am very professional, just that's just how I am if I tomorrow launched a makeup brand and I'm the, obviously the face of the company I am the business you know I am the product that's how I kind of like to think of myself so when I present myself I know that I'm presenting myself in a way that is going to give me more opportunity I come from a place where it's not the best to be honest if you guys don't know i'm from new york but specifically from brooklyn new york and it is a very tough lifestyle um, i pretty much have seen it all but that doesn't mean because i grew up in that place that i'm not proud to be from there but also that doesn't mean that i have to carry myself in a way of like you know i mean i don't want to say ghetto but like you guys get what i'm saying i hope and I feel like there's just a time and a place for everything. Hanging out with my friends, hanging out with my family. Yes, I have those moments, obviously. Cursing is something that it just comes naturally. I feel like everyone curses these days. But I feel like when you are in a professional environment, like I guess the best way to explain it is when you go to your nine to five or you go to your job, whether you work full time, part time, how do you act in those moments? When you are having a conversation with your manager, with your boss, with your district manager, how are you approaching those conversations? And the same way you approach those conversations with such professionalism is the same way that you need to approach any relationship that you have with a brand. So whether that's making sure that you submit your content in time, if you are working with a brand, making sure that you are following up in a timely manner, making sure that you are responding to them in a timely manner, all that kind of stuff. What in the actual is going on here? What is all this traffic? What the? Oh no, baby. I just want a cup of Starbucks. What is going on? I don't know what y'all want to do, but I'm going to throw myself in because if I don't, I'm never going to go. So like I was saying, as content creators, we get tired or sometimes things come up and it's just important to communicate and be able to be like hey this came up could we extend this due day or whatever the case is also as a content creator you're sometimes given what's called a creative brief and it's basically like a paper or obviously it comes in your email 
where the brand kind of tells you what the creative concept is around this product, what kind of details they're looking to be shared or shown, as well as probably like main ingredients of the product, things like that. So it's a creative brief. Sometimes brands will give you one already pre-made so you know the key points, key talking points, you know the correct name or the correct way to say a certain product, you know, stuff like that. And then there are are occasions where brands will want you to create the creative brief. This is the new product. How, what would you say about it? How are you approaching the video? How are you gonna talk about it? Give us ideas. And I am one of those girls that you guys, I swear, I literally take it as if it's like a research paper. It takes me hours to figure out the creative brief. I will write it over and over and over again until I feel like I'm gonna get an A++ when I send it back, okay? So I just feel like it's just, you know, I always wanna put my best foot forward, but that's a little tea on content creator life. So just wanted to share that. I'm also stuck in freaking traffic, so I'll see you guys when I get to Starbucks. Hello, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, but can I get started for you? Can I have a grande iced green tea latte with two pumps of vanilla and vanilla sweet cold foam? Okay. Can I also have a grilled cheese? Okay. And that's gonna be all. Are you left 14 or three? Thank you. All right, you guys, I got my Starbies. This is my treat from me to me because my live went so well today and how else would I celebrate? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So good every single time. Honestly, they low key played me because the cold foam is taking up half the cup today. Like, if I wanted a tall baby, I would have got a tall. I asked for a grande. Fill that up. It's real. It's real. calm day fun day ish kind of sunday um we woke up this morning we kind of just spent some time in bed i love sundays because i get to that's the day that i give myself like let me be lazy for an extra hour because why the fuck not so we went to the gym this morning we weren't at the gym for too long though because we have a lot of things that we're trying to get done today kiki's in the car she's just because of the angle of the phone you can't see her Hey everybody. Yeah, she's in the car. We're going to Starbucks and then we're going to Target because I want to go get some more of the Being Frenchy um, products. She has tons of scents, but I really like the vanilla cashmere one. So, so far I found, I have the body lotion, the hand serum, and the bath bombs, but I don't have the candles. Well, the candle. And I don't have the body. It's like a body, hair, and linen spray that I really want to get. So. I want to go to Target to get that, and the Target is a little bit far, so we're going to do that quickly. We're going to stop and get some stuff to make dinner today and some stuff for the week. And then I really want to go and see the sunset today, but I also have to get my emails ready for the week, get my planning out for the week, wash my hair, blow dry, flat iron it. So if you guys see in this vlog that we end up at the beach, that means I was able to get everything done at a decent time, and we were able to go and see the sunset. I feel like it's also a sign because Kiki looked up like what time the sun is gonna be setting and it said at 6.28 and 6.28 is my birthday. Boop, boop. So if that ain't a sign, girl, I don't know what is. to care for Maybe all you need to show that you cry on If that's a fact then I'll be more than you ever could dream of This escalated very quickly. Don't know if I'm getting all this, but we'll see. It's so pretty. Thumbs up if you guys want to 
see some vlogs of us going to Disney. Woo -woo. That way we can kind of go whenever we want and we can put it in the vlog. I've only been to Disney one time. I know, 27 years old, only been to Disney one time, but I feel like there's probably people who have never been to Disney. And I kind of remember my experience, but not really. And I feel like it's only right if we get the season pass at least for a year because we live here and we can go whatever we want. And there's a lot of parks to see within Disney World. So I feel like it's pretty much impossible to see all of it in one day. Um, yeah, so we're definitely going to get the passes. Um, and it's cool because we could bring you guys along because um, we'll be doing like one park not every week but you know i mean we could i mean we could yeah we could if we want to yeah we went to target and now we have a 36 minute drive back home but i found all my stuff from Fen from frenchy i was gonna say, i think i was thinking of fenty, fenty. um frenchy and i'm really excited because i actually got a lot more than i anticipated i also got two freaking spfs that i need both no but target is having a 20 percent off beauty Yes, if you guys don't know, all Target um, Circle members. But also before, like, we could tell them. I'm going to post it on Instagram, too, because by the time this vlog goes up, it's probably not going to be that oh, sale right. anymore. Oh, right, yeah. But, yeah, basically I got these with the Target 20% because Kate yeah. is like a, what are you, a member? I'm a Target Circle member. Kiri. That's it. And the only reason why I got the membership is because of that girl right there. <laughs> because Yo, this love girl Target. loves Target. It used to be she loved Walmart, and then I don't know what happened. She just got bougier that now everything is Target. Target, Target, Target. And let you know everything will be alright. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday the 11th. So Saturday, March 11th. Um... Kiki is working as always and I so I have a few updates for you guys so I guess we could chit chat in the car as per usual no makeup kind of makeup day I have a little bit of the Bobbi Brown color corrector underneath my eyes I love that color corrector it's the one that comes in like the little compact I think it's phenomenal it's a very creamy color corrector for underneath your eyes but it's something that you have to warm up with your finger so it's best applied with your finger the warmth of your finger as you're patting it on kind of just gets the product going and I absolutely love it it's one of my favorite products um but I have that on and that's basically it I you guys actually I'm already at the mailbox I needed to come pick up some packages so give me one second you guys i am so excited so the mailboxes are right next to the pool and our community pool has been closed for what feels like ages okay that shit has been closed for like almost a month because they had to do some renovation in our pool area and obviously i'm vlogging now so you guys will get to see the pool area it is beautiful it's one of the things that really sold me about this complex to be honest with you all the complexes in florida their pools especially if they say luxury apartments the pools are immaculate like it's like staying at a five-star hotel they're so beautiful but it had been closed because it has a part that kind of rises because they have like chairs these really cute chairs that you can actually use to sit in the pool but like you're lying down right so it's like a lounge chair that can go inside the pool but the water is not all over your body it's just kind of touching like your butt and like a little bit of your legs so um maybe if i could find a picture on google or something of the chair that i'm talking about i could post it so you guys know what i'm saying but the point is that that area where those chairs usually go on there's there was a crack in the pool and so they had to close the pool for a whole month to get the water completely drained fix the crack and then reopen the pool and baby it's already summertime here in florida okay it is 92 degrees outside today and i have been dying to go to the pool like girl i you know how much rent i pay we well we pay at this apartment like baby i want to enjoy my amenities so kiki's gonna be so hyped when she finds out the pool is open most likely we're gonna go to the pool tomorrow but we shall see um but yeah today is saturday i am on my way to bank of america also i'm sorry that the angle of this is so awkward i'm using my phone holder and i can't put it down anymore because my phone will literally fall off 
off and I'm still trying to get the hang of my vlogging camera. Tomorrow is Sunday, so tomorrow I think we're doing a lot more stuff. Tomorrow, so Scream, is it Scream 5? I'm not 100% sure, but the new Scream movie came out, if you know, you know. So we're planning to go see that. We always do a matinee, not even just to save the money. Saving the money is great, but also because I feel like Sundays are always our days that we have to like run errands and do stuff like that. So we'll see how the day pans out. I'm not sure if she's still gonna wanna go see Scream when she finds out that the pool is open she might just want to hang out and chill by the pool a little bit but we shall see because me personally since we live in an apartment complex the pool gets a little bit crazy and rowdy during the weekends i'm not even gonna lie because everyone's off but i feel like this week is gonna be busy no matter what because all the kids are off in florida for spring break i think we need to do some grocery shopping i really want to make a trip to trader joe's because i don't have any flowers on my dining table you guys know i have the really nice white vase and I like to have flowers on there. Um, it's just my personal preference because I just like fresh flowers in the home. I feel like it brings good vibes. So we'll see what we get into today. I just picked up some packages from my mailbox. It's actually a brand new product from Fresh that was on an influencer platform that we had the option to choose from. And I just said, I love that brand. So the fact that I got to try it out for free through that influencer platform, I was like, yeah, let me get one of those please just okay we're good um so i want to show you guys what i got in mail so this is the fresh product that i got by the way before i get into the products the way that i was able to get these products is there is an influencer platform it is called skeepers okay it used to be called octoly if you are familiar with octoly it's basically the same thing they just created a new name it is now called skeepers now you can download this app and basically they give you a certain amount of credits and you're able to get products with those credits now the only i guess catch you would say is you get the product for free and you get your choice of what product but it will require depending on how many of your social media platforms you connect to the app it will require you to post a tiktok using it or post an instagram reel using it or do a review on sephora and so it kind of just depends on what the brand is looking for when i tell you i have heard a lot about octoly back in the day when it was called octoly there was actually a lot of people who would be like eh, it was good but they don't have the best products and yada 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 y'all just didn't stick around long enough okay because they have all the high-end brands i mean not all of them but things that would cost you a lot of money i'm talking like the dr dennis gross um facial steamer that facial steamer is amazing it is very pricey you can get it at sephora if you know you know it's expensive they've had that on there where you can use one of your credits to get that and just do a review on tiktok they've had bobby brown they've had house labs house labs when they launched their triclone foundation that was on there you had the opportunity to get that um there's been a ton of sol de janeiro i missed out on that one because i didn't have any more credits i have to do the reviews for these products before i can get my credits back so they just revamped their shampoo and conditioner that was on there i just got my first fragrance from on there it's from the brand ellis brooklyn but yeah so how it works is you get the product in the mail and you have 30 days which is a long time okay i'm talking a quick review of one product and you have a whole 30 days before it's going to be due and you would have to submit it and upload it to the influencer platform or the app whatever the case is so i think it's the perfect way especially if you're an upcoming influencer or content creator it's a great way to get in the rhythm of being responsible I hope that makes sense like it gets you into the momentum of what it's basically going to be like when you're actually working with brands whether it's a gifted collab or a paid collab it's a really nice kind of like it's like your training wheels you know so once you do your review you upload it obviously there's things that you have to abide by and you get all of the rules and everything on the app you will upload it post it on the app they accept it you're done once everything has been completed the agreement is done now and you will get that one credit back so say you get seven credits when you start the app you can get seven different products and as you do each review you get those points back or those credits back so i think it's phenomenal highly recommend i will link it down below if you guys are interested so they had this product and you know i had to try it okay i wonder if this is out on sephora watch this be like eighty dollars so this is the new fresh kombucha facial treatment essence so it says it protects and visibly repairs it boosts luminosity okay y'all know i like to glow okay even though i'm not wearing no makeup today i want my skin to look glowy healthy this antioxidant liquid treatment protects and visibly repairs from the harmful effects of external stressors for 24 hours leaving skin smooth and luminous 
that's all I need to know. Gently pat over cleansed face and neck with your palms. Use daily to prep skin for your serum and moisturizer. Does this mean that I would replace this with my toner? Or do you do essence, toner, serum, and then so on and so forth? That's what I need to know. Let me open up the other package. I'm not sure what this is. See, that is so funny. Okay, so this was another product that was on the Skeepers app. And I have been wanting to try this for so long. And when I tell you this is bougie, okay this is giving this is what my highest version of myself would be using so babe we gotta act as if right that's how we're manifesting the life we want to live so i saw these and i was like this is la mer you guys these are so tiny oh my god i guess it's because you don't need much like why is this so small what in the actual at least they gave two right i guess let me stop complaining. So these are sample sizes of the La Mer, the Moisturizing Soft Cream. I have been dying to try this. Just as much as makeup gets me excited, skincare gets me excited. I mean, the bag is really cute, but you know, the products are like legit, like drowning in the bag, but it's fine. So this was on there as well. And the cool thing about this and the Fresh is they didn't require any type of video content. All they require is for you to go on the Sephora app and type a review that's it could you imagine getting a probably 60 something dollar product and all you need to do is write a review on sephora and they don't want you to lie they want you to write your honest review post some pictures of the product and that's it personally it's a win-win scenario for me hey you guys let me just put my charger long time no see what's up um Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, March 23rd. I think so. I think today is Thursday, March 23rd. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Listen, y'all know I don't be knowing my days. So right now we're going to get gas um, because we, I was saying hi to the maintenance guy, because we are on a mission today, okay? So I've been seeing this freaking Starbucks cup all over social media. Okay, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen for you guys to see. It's a really cute glass cup. It's like a glass tumbler. I need it, okay? I need it. Damn, the gate is taking so long to open. I need it, you guys. It is so cute and I could just, I'm manifesting it, okay? I can already, let me take the back road. I can already like envision me drinking my matcha in there. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna find it today. So we're on a hunt to find that Starbucks cup. Oh my God. Y'all, the sun is so crazy today. What the, f hell no. Anyways, we are on the hunt to find that cup today. Okay, we're finding that cup, fingers crossed. Um, we should be able to go to a decent amount of Starbucks. Yes, I meant a mission when I said it. But the reason why I'm saying I think we're going to be able to find it is because I actually have to go towards Orlando. I'm going to Ikea. I ordered something for pickup online. So one of my favorite vloggers, her name is Marie J. Love her content. Love her. She's such a vibe. And she, oh, first of all, if you ever see this, Sabrina, girl. When I watch your vlogs, I be all up in the home decor. Girl, show me what you got. Give me all the home goods hauls, TJ Maxx hauls. I'm like, she's probably ever going to see this, but um, yeah. So I was, you know, being nosy and I was looking like at her. She was doing something in her kitchen and in her kitchen, she has this freaking beautiful iPad holder and she does a lot of Amazon hauls. So I was like, oh, maybe it's on like one of those videos where they do like their Amazon favorites, but it wasn't. And then I was like, oh, the smart thing to do, Tatsunisha, is to check her storefront because anytime people do Amazon hauls, you're gonna be able to find everything. Like obviously they're gonna link it on their storefront. Oh, it's hot in here. Hold on guys. Oh, I gotta turn the AC the other way though. Hopefully it doesn't bother you, but it's hot. Um. So yeah, so I went on her storefront, it was not there. And I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna find it. What am I gonna do? So I'm watching her, I think it was her most, I think it was her most recent video or her most recent Amazon haul. 
and she was showing like a spray cleaner it's like this little thing that sprays down your ipad it has a cleaner in it and then it has like a microfiber side where you can kind of just like rub the screen like scrape not scrape like y'all know what i mean right like go like this with the <laughs> with the microfiber side anyway and when she was showing that clip she was showing her ipad on the stand and y'all when she moved the stand a little bit to the left i was like i know that logo baby i know that logo anywhere and it was a little ikea logo you it you first of all if you go see the video i'm gonna link it down below you can't even see the fact that it says ikea but like we know like if you're an ikea lover you know what the logo looks like it is very unique there's nothing like it and i was like that's ikea but then i went on ikea by the way i'm doing all this at like three four o'clock this morning so and I'll explain why in a second. So I go on Ikea and I put an iPad holder. These super ugly like iPad holders popped up and I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's not here. So I'm zooming into the video and I'm like, bro, that is Ikea. I know it's Ikea. So I was like, hmm, what if they gotta be real extra? And the search engine for that, like the keyword for that is tablet. So I put in tablet holder and sure enough, it came up and actually I went on Amazon and searched for it and they had them on Amazon but on amazon they were like 27 dollars. i was like damn that's a little steep for just a cute little piece that i want to put in my kitchen or like it's just for the aesthetic wait till you guys see it it's so damn cute okay y'all know if it's not giving neutral home decor we don't want it um but yeah so i'm gonna go pick that up at ikea so on amazon it was running for 27 almost 30 bucks basically because when you consider tax and all that stuff um it was gonna be around that price so ikea has it which is the original one that she got and you know sometimes it's giving like that wood bamboo type of material and you know sometimes they could be like washed different like the color staining is a little bit different and i wanted the exact one that she had because i was like yes i love that color it is so beautiful so i ordered it online for pickup in ikea because it was only $14.99 but the only thing is that ikea the one that's local to me it's not really local the only one that we have in this area is in orlando and Orlando's not as close as people might think it is. So it's gonna take me a good like 30, 35 minutes to get there. But I'm running on 12 miles of gas, which means we gotta get gas. So I'm stopping at a Wawa. Someone please explain to me why in the hell is the gas station always so damn packed? Ew, any of my girls out there? Oh, and also, y'all, don't be forgetting to put on hand sanitizer because you know how many people use those damn pumps it's disgusting i'm trying to open my gun before the light turns green did i make it let me throw in the plastic across the seat <laughs> yeah i need to clean my car maybe we'll do that in the next vlog we're going to ikea what i told y'all 42 minutes to get there why because it's gonna be 10 a.m and there's traffic everywhere ikea trader joe's starbucks hunt literal starbucks hunt for that cup today's a super chill day also if you guys have any recommendations i want to get one of those really cute phone charms you know the little beads that go on the side of your phone it kind of just dangles off your phone i want one so bad i think they're so cute so if you guys have any recommendations of where i can get those can i get those on amazon i've never even checked but let me know if you guys know of any cute ones and tell me the website so i can go and order one because you know she's giving girly girl okay actually i think we're about to pass my target are we <gasps> if we are i'm gonna stop at target first you guys it's not even here i'm gonna make this turn for no reason it's at the light i'm telling y'all i still don't know where i'm going <laughs> i've been here for a whole year and i still do not know how to get to target my local target no ma'am i can get to sephora walmart Publix, and that's about it i can get you to a mcdonald's and a starbucks that's it everything else i need gps nobody needs to know what i look like i'm undercover i'm there for one thing and one thing only okay tbh i'm about to look crazy as hell just walking in there to glance at starbucks and if they don't have it we walking right back out let's see
guys. No luck at that one. It looks like they had some. It's all right. That's only store number one. We got like 15 to go. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to 15 Starbucks, but I'll see you a tar. If we hit a Target on the way, you typically all the Targets in Florida have a Starbucks. All right, you guys. We made it to IKEA, but where is the pickup? I never done a pickup with ikea before so i don't know if i have to go to the exit and go to the pickup station just kidding there actually is a loading zone like not a loading zone this is the loading zone girl what are you talking about there is actually those number parkings like you know when you go to like target walmart basically any store that does order pickup um and you do actually stay in your car i just it's not here it's further down so Fingers crossed we can find it. Oh, I see it's right here. Duh. Okay. Well, in my defense, they're just numbers. Okay. It does not say order pick up here. Oh, and you can't even turn in there. It just says numbers. So we're gonna go to number one. Because we number one. Click and collect. Got it. Okay. Reserve for click and collect. Alright, let me look at my email. You guys, that was so quick he was so nice i got it look how cute come on don't play with me this is so cute what is it called i don't you know what <laughs> i don't even know the villa <laughs> no forget it forget it but it is i mean come on it's a stand so when she was doing her video she was like showing her ipad super cute and chic and then she kind of kind of turned it this way and i was like i saw that right there and i was like that's ikea i know that's ikea look at how tell me this is not mm, you're gonna see wait until i show it on instagram y'all are gonna be like girl that's so cute go get you one it was literally like 14.99 at ikea so worth the money it is so cute i'm in love this is gonna look so cute in my beauty room on my vanity in my kitchen okay so the gps is taking me to another super target there is a target here in millennia we're going to target target number two let's see if we find it all right you guys no look at that target <laughs> i'm feeling i'm feeling defeated i need to be on these next launch first of all how do you how do you even know when they're launching new cups somebody tell me somebody leave a comment because the way that I want this cup, like at this point, I'm too deep in. I gotta find one. I've called every single Starbucks within the radius. They're all sold out. They know exactly what I'm talking about. They're like, yeah, girl, the viral TikTok cup sold out, gone. Some stores only got two in shipment. Why? If you know they're gonna sell. So honestly, the girl at Starbucks, she was like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Your best bet is finding it out of Target. So this is my second Target. We made it to another Target. Well, I'm waiting at the light. All right, see you guys in literally two seconds. Hunt for the cup is over. I couldn't find the cup. I pretty much went all over Orlando and Kissimmee. My aunt is in New York trying to look for it too. She can't find it. It is sold out everywhere, but I'm at Trader Joe's. I'm in the parking lot and I'm gonna go in here and get some flowers. I'll show you guys the flowers. If you have a Trader Joe's nearby, they have the most beautiful flowers ever. And I'm crossing my fingers that i can find tulips it is springtime it is tulip season so hopefully i can find some really beautiful tulips so yeah that's what we're gonna do i did end up getting starbucks anyway i got like a green tea and a grilled cheese which it probably looks like i eat them all the time but i swear you guys i have them occasionally it's just every time i vlog i'm like let's go to starbucks um but yeah okay let's go inside trader joe's let me look at these flowers because it's very busy in here and i'm gonna vlog as much as i can the kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And if I don't let you know Then I won't be for you I could be wrong but I feel like something could be going on You guys, I just came out of Trader Joe's. Look at the flowers. Are these not giving spring? Like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. It's time to go home, y'all. You guys see the flowers back there? They're so, wait, 
wait till I arrange them. I don't know. I went a little bit crazy because what happened was I initially picked out these really beautiful. They were so like they were bright like a hot pink, but they're beautiful. You guys will be able to see if you see my Instagram. I'll probably put the story up right here so you guys could see, but it's like a really beautiful, like a springtime pink, not too pastel, not too like on the hot pink side, just like the perfect in between. And I noticed when they were sitting, first of all, I wanted tulips. Like I told you guys, they had no tulips, of course, because why? It's spring and that's what everyone is grabbing. The rose looked a little wilted, like one of them out of the whole bouquet. And I was like, it's worth it because I'm telling you guys, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, buy your flowers at trader joe's you guys when i tell you they are so affordable they are so inexpensive it's unbelievable it's literally unbelievable how cheap their flowers are and i got all these flowers that you see in the back for 29 dollars. okay 29 dollars. that is a steal so i knew the rose was looking a little bit wilted but i didn't think anything of it because it was only one out of the bouquet so i ended up grabbing it anyway and i took it up to the register and when she went to grab it, the minute that she like turned it on its side to scan it, the one rose fell out and it fell on the floor. It was still a healthy rose, like the petals were healthy. I actually kept the petals. She was like, do you want the petals? I was like, uh, yeah. And she was like, oh, do you want to grab another one? But that was the last bouquet of that specific color. So I was like, no. She was like, are you still going to take it? I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it just like that. I still want it. She was like, all right. She was like, it'll be on the house. that's generous okay i was like um for free that's what you meant did, did i just hear you say i could have these this whole bouquet of roses for free because one was messed up um well i didn't say all that i'm saying that to y'all but in my head i was like oh my god like to her i was like oh my god thank you so much so she gave me the bouquet of roses and they picked up the rose petals from the floor and gave those to me as well okay dripping in rose petals yeah so i got that bouquet complimentary on trader joe's thank you so much trader joe's but i was like you know what since that's getting taken off my bill let me grab another one because i've seen these other roses oh you guys they're a beautiful pastel peach so i grabbed those as well i also grab i kind of like to grab different types of things that go together so you guys will see what i mean when i create the bouquet i think this is probably the last time i'm going to talk to you guys for this specific vlog i have no clue what's going in this vlog uh i don't know how i'm ending it but i have no idea how i'm starting it i might be doing a zoom call very interesting very exciting i am very excited about i have been working on it the entire week and there's something just so beautiful when you create something from scratch with no help and you figure that shit out there is something so empowering about just figuring that shit out for yourself like no asking and i'm not saying don't take this the wrong way i'm not saying that it's not okay to ask for help ask if you need help ask just be careful with who you're asking because you never want people to feel like you need them right no i don't need you i am trying to learn from you and that should be a different type of feeling but y'all know people's heads get big so all i'm saying is have a good circle around you it really does affect you and your life and your mood and your energy but anyways i just took it upon myself because i feel like all you need is google girl all you need is google now i'm not saying that there's times where you might have to ask a friend because there's not things on google but for this particular category that i'm about to talk about I, I have to learn it takes time to learn just like my vlogging camera i've been putting it off putting it off putting it off and i just need to sit down one day and learn it and it's gonna be a piece of cake I, when i get to that point future me is like girl we were missing out this whole time we could have been vlogging on this camera but everything is done for the zoom call it is created it's done i've created the link it's a sign up link that will go in my bio on instagram once i post the stories about it you go on there you click there you sign up for the zoom you get the meeting id and i'm trying to schedule it for next wednesday which i believe is the 29th i just thought it would be such a great idea to do a zoom call where we could all talk can you imagine how many people feel alone how many people feel discouraged maybe there's people who don't have anyone in their immediate family who understand content creation or understand 
you know, maybe it's a boy in makeup who doesn't have really any friends to talk to. Maybe you need people to give you encouragement and give you that pep talk, you know, and you might not have those type of people in your life. And I feel like sometimes, or actually all the time, it's sad to say, all the time, there's always going to be complete strangers that are willing to support you more than your friends and family. And it's sad to say, but when you realize that, it is really important that you start to remove those people from your life. Because how are you supposed to grow if you are in the same tight, small pot? Period. I didn't even get that from nowhere. Okay? Okay. Imagine a plant, right? Plants outgrow their pots. They naturally do because they get bigger and bigger and bigger. The more you nourish them, the more you love them, the more you care for them, they grow, right? That's the point of having a plant. That's the point of watering it, giving it plant food, all that good stuff. Well, imagine you're doing that for yourself. You're changing your habits. You're loving yourself. You're giving yourself self-care. You are taking all the necessary steps to become the best version of you. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. You see this beautiful vision into the future of this person that is unrecognizable because you haven't become that version of you yet. But unfortunately, you're growing out of your pot, but there's not a new one, so you're stuck. Could you imagine? You have all the potential to grow. You're growing, everything is blossoming. You can feel it within. Everything's going so well, but there's no more space. You're stuck, you're stagnant. It's That's exactly what it is. When you have people around you who are not growing with you, people who you can't feel inspired by, people who are constantly negative, old habits, old conversations, how do you expect to grow? There's no room to. How, how are you expecting yourself to grow, your spirit to grow, your vibration to grow if there's no space for it? Then it won't happen. So just be careful with who you're surrounding yourself with. But just like exactly that is what I would talk about on the Zoom call. It would be such a beautiful, intimate way for us to have a conversation and uplift one another and talk to one another and see one another in real time. And I think there is something so beautiful about a room, well, a Zoom filled with positive, uplifting, just where you can feel all the good vibes. And even I need that. A place where you can come, where you can come with your cup half full and leave with your cup overflowing. That's gonna be the point of this Zoom call. Everybody's cup needs to be filled. But when you are overflowing, that's when you can help those around you. You have to really focus and become the best version of you. Okay, sir. Messing up my whole speech over here, sir. Anyways, once you get to a point in your life where you are not letting people take advantage of you and you are truly living for you and you are setting boundaries, everything becomes easy. Literally everything becomes easy. I've had moments in my life where I felt like, why is this happening to me? What else do I, what, what else is gonna come at me? How much more can I take? I was even that person who was always like, of course that happened to me because nothing good could ever happen to me. You ever said that to yourself? Most horrible thing. That is like the most degrading thing ever to say to yourself because you're saying to yourself, I'm not worthy of success and I have an expectation that things always go wrong. Could you imagine an adult saying that to your younger self? A grown ass person coming to a little kid and saying, just know that when you get older, everything's gonna go to shit for you. Everything's gonna go to absolute shit and you're never gonna be anything because you're never gonna exceed expectations and you're never gonna be good enough. You'd be pissed off, right? I would, if I seen an adult saying that to a child, I'd be so pissed off. How are you gonna tell a child that they're not gonna be successful when they grow up? No, we don't tell children that. We encourage them. We let them be as creative as possible so they can find themselves, they can find who they are. But how come we don't nourish ourselves as adults the way we would nourish a child? It's really that simple. So, yeah. Manifestation and content creation go literally hand in hand. Because without a strong mentality, without knowing your worth, you will constantly be beaten down. You will constantly have imposter syndrome. You will constantly feel anxiety, depression. You will constantly feel like everything is too good to be true. All that comes from your mental. You could be strong mentally, but strength and understanding yourself are two different things. And I want to be the voice for that. It's not just about content creating for me. It's about making a difference. It's about helping others. 
and I'm just excited for the Zoom call to be the first start, the first step. I want to see how people are going to react to it, what people think about it. And I'm thinking to call them Know Your Worth Wednesdays. By the time you guys see this vlog, it would have already happened. So I guess we'll see. We're talking to past Tatanisha at the moment and future Tatanisha is editing this vlog and it's probably cracking up like, girl, you were so worried and everything literally went fantastic, better than you would have even thought it would have gone. So I'm really excited. I'm actually gonna post about that today on my stories. One thing that I can say is yes, I'm a content creator, obviously, but I am also a human being. And I feel like that gets so confused. I know that we are fans of people. I know that we admire people and it is okay to do so. I admire a lot of people as well. I'm also a supporter of a lot of people, but not in the way of like, wow, like I could never be them. I, I could never be on their level. I could never make that much money. No, it's more so like, wow, thank you for showing me that this is possible. Thank you for showing me that this is actually an opportunity that I can get for myself, you know? And the minute that you start thinking like that, things that like jealousy, hate, feeling like, oh, why is this person getting this and I'm not, all that is gone because everybody's journey is different and no one's journey is gonna look the same. And someone, if someone accomplishes X, Y, and Z and you accomplish Y and Z, that's okay because your path is different and your story is different and you're not meant to live the same life. That's the beautiful thing about you. You're not meant to be duplicated. You're not meant to be the same. You're not meant to look like other people. You're not meant to speak the way other people speak. You're not meant to carry yourself the same way. You are meant to be you. And there is something special about you. And the minute that you're able to tap into that energy and the minute that you're able to quiet the noise from the outside world and you're able to understand, wait a minute, I'm way too consumed in social media. I'm way too consumed in, I need to be this way and I need to look this way and I need to speak this way. What's making me happy? What do I wanna be proud of when I'm old and I'm, I'm wise and I've reached that age where I'm just enjoying the rest of the time that I have on this earth and I'm just looking at my life, looking at the story that I created, the book that I wrote and thinking to myself, wow, I lived a fucking amazing life. I lived an amazing life. I inspired people. I connected with all types of people from all walks of life. I spread kindness. What is there more to life? That's just my opinion. If any of you that are watching this vlog did attend the Zoom meeting, if I had the guts to do it, because you know, I'm the first one to be like, do the things that make you scared, go for it. It's for you. If it wasn't for you, it wouldn't be happening. If it wasn't for you, you wouldn't have the visions. You wouldn't have the thoughts. You wouldn't have the, the creativity around it. And yet, I have a million and one creative thoughts and I'm just like, um, me? <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, girl. Looking in the mirror like, yeah, you, you, you. You were made for this. Do it. You can do it. You know you can do it. I love you guys so much and I want you to know that you are never ever just a number to me you are a human being and you have no idea how much you've impacted my life in the most positive way possible and I'm so thankful and so grateful to be surrounded by amazing people remember that my dms are always open if you are ever going through something you need someone to talk to i'm always here thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw in today's vlog and i will catch you guys in the next vlog